of course, I forgot to show you the ring pour with these same colors we just used. Or we're going to use. I'll put this in the beginning of the video. Turned out really cool, though. Um, it's dry, so it's not real bright. But once I gloss it, it'll draw out all those colors again. Actually, it's pretty bright for being dry. But see how you just don't see any of the patina? Just all blended. That's why I want I'm going to, in our video that's coming up, I'm doing the dirty pour. All this will just come back again once it's glossed. This is really, really cool. And I'm so upset because that video, <laughs> the camera died in it. Isn't that something? So yeah, I was not crazy about it at first, but really intense. Pretty cool. Okay, so I'll go ahead and just put this in there. Yeah, it looks fady, but that's because, like I said, it's not, it's dry now, so not all shiny. Anyway, we'll go ahead and we'll start that video. Hey guys, how you doing? I'm doing good. I am finally able to paint. I've had, oh, the past, well, 24 hours have been miserable. <laughs> and I just woke up and I'm having some coffee. I had my air conditioner go out on me. And I own my home, so... Yeah, that's not easy. I used to rent all the time, and it's nice to be able to have somebody just come and fix it for you, but it don't work that way. <laughs> so I got on YouTube, like I always do. <laughs> I'm like, okay, what's going on? The fan wasn't turning. Anyway, long story short, it ended up being the air um, capacitor. Uh, the run capacitor and I figured that out on my own by I actually went out there and jumped the fan but the compressor would not start up because the capacitor also starts up the motor too so <laughs> I'm just thankful because my children and I are survivors <laughs> you know we get through the worst of times, and it was not fun. Yeah, we sat in front of the fan with our squirt bottles and endured a miserable hot. It got up to 93 degrees in my home. But I am thankful because I ended up calling the Sunland uh, air conditioning place that I'm just so thankful for. That's why I'm even saying Sunland. I might even put a link in here for them, but they're in Arizona. So anyway, they were nice enough to come out and replace that. And sure enough, that's what they diagnosed it with was that run capacitor. And yeah, I got a bill out of it, but you know what? They didn't charge me right away. They, it's, I, I, it's just crazy how God works, you know, how they were able to go ahead and do it for me and then they're going to bill me. So, yeah, it is what it is, but I'm thankful for help out there. You know, people that are willing to see that, hey, you know, it's hot, Arizona, 110 degrees outside. 
and my kids were miserable. I was miserable, but we survived. <laughs> And I've had my paint sitting here since then because it was just too hot to even paint. And, well, this looks like I dripped inside there. So I'm going to be mixing that a little bit in there. I did a pour with these colors. And I was recording them. And my camera ended up dying on me so I was just like Ugh. didn't get a chance to get that recorded well I recorded half of it and then it died and I'm just like forget it but it turned out pretty cool not what I expected but pretty cool everybody seems to like it at, at first I'm like uh uh but We'll see if we can replicate it. Let's see here now. In what order did I have it in? Quite a few colors. And yeah. This dark green kind of threw it off too, so. I think I will take out this color and throw this one in. All right. So, anyway, I have a 14 by 14. And I'm just glad to be able to paint again. It's like 24 hours seems like a long time. But you know what? People have gone through so much worse. And, and they are right now. So, I always count my blessings. You know? I'm not one to sit there and go, oh, poor me, poor me, because I know there are many, many people in this world that are a lot worse off, you know, that sit in the terrible heat all day long for months or have no food or even a roof over their head. So I do count my blessings. I count the positives more than I do the negatives in my life. And that, that's how I get through things. It's crazy because I had sat there and just kind of went, oh man, this is miserable. But I put my thoughts in the right mindset. And, you know, I did that. I, I counted my blessings instead of the problem. So, anyway, I have black, which is my artist loft. And these, I did do that ring pour, the straight pour with these colors. That was kind of trial because I wanted to see what it would be like so I could use a bigger canvas. So that's why I'm doing it now. Uh, a little disorientated now. Okay. Cadmium yellow. Then this is the, no, that's not it. That's, uh, okay, and then I threw, I'm throwing in patina, which we're probably not going to see because this always hides too. It hid in the last one. And then Hauser dark green. And pistachio mint. And these are all matte. So I was surprised I got so many cells out of them, but I did. I was like, what? All right. And a 14 by 14 requires uh, six and a half, seven ounces. I'm going about seven and a half just to make sure we cover the sides. Okay. And there's no silicone. And I'm going to do a ring pour. Not a straight pour. This time I'm going to try to swirl it. <laughs> Which I am terrible at. Okay. For some reason, I just can't stay in that circle very long. I get... I don't know how to explain it. You know where you just have that monotonous circle? It seems... It tends to just 
Brr, blow me away. And I'm going to pour some of this out. Too much black. So, where's my line? Okay. Oh, yeah, it's been interesting. <laughs> So pretty together, you know. I like them. I really would want to do a straight pour in a way. I really do. Hmm. Maybe I am because you know what? They're so pretty together. I want to see the colors. When I do a ring pour, you don't see them. I'm going to add this one in now, for sure. Oh, I'm so undecided here. I was so excited to paint that. <laughs> That's funny. Well, I'd better make up my mind because that's the last of that color right there, the cadmium yellow. Just pretty together. I really would like to see these. You know what? I am. I'm changing my mind. I'm going to do a dirty pour with them. I wanted to do what I did because it came out so cool looking, but I don't want to waste these colors. They look awesome. Okay, here goes. Here comes the yellow. I'll show you the uh, ring pour. Just turned out awesome. And it's dry now. It should be. But yeah, I want to see what this does. So I did do that one straight pour with these colors. The one that turned out looking like Abalon, Abalonian shell, like, you know. All right. Now that I changed my mind, <laughs> they're just so pretty together. When you do a ring pour, they don't show up all the pretty colors. That's why I wanted to do it this way. Look at all those cells too. or is it a chunk? Chunky something. Yeah, because that paint sat for so long. It was covered, but there was definitely something in there. No idea, but it's a blob of something. So it's a good thing I've seen that. Now I have to keep looking out for dragging. Wait a 
waste a lot of paint here, probably. <sighs> Bubble? Yeah. So this deco art Americana, I like. I'm going to start buying some more of that. Yeah, I was, I was just amazed how when, you know, even not just in the United States, throughout the world, when hard times hit, how everybody pulls together and helps one another. And I just love that about humanity. Well, those that are have human hearts anyway. <laughs> you know? sacrifice themselves for others to help. I hate to lose all those, but I have to. <laughs> There's nothing I could do about that. Because half of them are going to go off. But I'll go pretty slow here. And I'm thankful because I have children, you know? So... I'm really digging this. Okay, I'll bring it back to the middle. Wow. Well, I got to see all those colors together, and it is pretty cool. Very pretty. Wow, that's beautiful right here. I actually hope that doesn't sell up a lot, because that's gorgeous. Look at that right there. Isn't that beautiful? So yeah, this worked out pretty cool. Look at that. I like it. So which way I like it better. Lots of bubbles in this paint. How come? That must have been because they sit for so long. They kind of build up around the rim of the cup. So yeah, I like it this way the best. Very, very cool. <laughs> That's really neat. This center right here. So I love it. I think it is an awesome picture. I'll do a ring pour next. I'm, I'll pick some different. Although these colors came out awesome. But oh, I do have leftovers. Yeah, I do. But I wanted to do the ring pour on a big canvas. That's what my... Oh, well. I do have another 14 by 14. Pretty cool looking. 
All the colors showed up too. This is just so beautiful down in here. All this, the swirling. Very cool. Yeah, my air just clicked on. Sorry, guys. But <laughs> I'm actually loving it now. <laughs> Usually when it clicks on, I'm like, ah. Oh, no, I appreciate that air conditioner. <laughs> And it's a fairly new air conditioner. It's only like five years old, too. So, what is going on? It must have been because they sat there. Right, that's cool, though. This is so detailed, guys. Okay, so let's check it out. That pretty green hawser. 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 Maybe I'm saying it wrong. H A U S E R. Hawser. So, yeah, it's crazy how all these mat. Um, sell up. It's crazy. I always thought using different ones. Well, I've experienced it like using the satin and metallic or then a matte, opaque, you know, translucent. They get crazy cells doing it that way, but. Look at this. Big ones, too. Well, I'm glad I did it this way because I wanted to see these colors. Have to have followed my heart on that one. This is the part that's just, oh, look at that. Wish the whole thing was like that. That's what I was hoping my ring pour would turn out like the other day, but it didn't. It turned out full of cells where you couldn't even see the rings. Isn't that something? Wow. This is cool because it even happened up in here. So it's just a really completely cool picture. Painting. I love it. I think it is really, really awesome. Let me know what you think. But I am so loving this one. Very cool. Love the way that you have yellow kind of spread out all around. That's awesome. That patina actually showed up. And this is matte too, by the way. The full cart, the one full cart. Probably too bright to see in the light. Yeah. That's a matte too. So they were all matte. But let's see. That's this color. That patina, not real, you know, prominent in there, but it's in there. Not a whole brightness of it. And mixed. I I had a feeling that would happen. So of course we have this one, the dark green. Then of course this one showed up just a tab too. In some areas that blended too though not, not real 
bright on that one either. Of course, the yellow cadmium. And then, of course, this one showed up definitely. Oh, well, this was fun. And I love the black that's in, intertwined in there, surrounding around the cells. This was just super cool. Alrighty then, that was fun. I got to use up that paint, and I'll just put that paint away, or maybe I will see if I can get enough up for, and I don't think so though. I'd have to make more up to do the same ring pour. Well, I'll figure something out. <laughs> Alright guys, take it easy. Thank you for subscribing and watching. I hope you all are having a very good day or a very good evening. Okay? Take care now. Bye-bye.